So this question is a diagram. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. So I'd like to pay attention, especially with graph questions, right? Because this is a graph, right? Um, Nonlinear, of course. I'd like to pay attention to, um, to intercepts if I can. So there is a y-intercept at 5. There's no x-intercept that I can see here. It looks like I have a vertex potentially here at 4, 9. Looks like that's probably the high point of this very broad curve or upside-down parabola. So that looks good to me. Um, let's see what the question is actually asking before I continue on. So the question says the graph models the number of active projects a company was working on X months after the end of November 2012. Okay, so each one of these is a month after the end of November 2012. So for instance, the number one would represent the end of December 2012. Number two would represent the end of January 2013, so on and so forth where X, the number of months, is between zero and six. So we just have six months total, right? According to the model, what is the predicted number of active projects, right? So that's our Y value. What is the predicted model, predicted, sorry, number of active projects the company was working on at the end of November 2012? Oh, well, at the end of November 2012 is at time zero. And we've already noted that, which is so interesting. I usually look for intercepts and they end up a lot of times being very important. So that intercept is at five. So that means the number of projects at the end of November 2012 was five. And therefore, the answer to our question here is choice B.